So I frequently get asked about what my paralytic of choice is for rapid sequence innovation, and the choices are rocuronium or succinylcholine, but for me, the answer is almost always rocuronium. So there's a few things to understand about rocuronium. You don't have to remember any special type of dosing. The dosing is exactly the same between rocuronium and succinylcholine. It's gonna be one to 1.5 milligrams per kilogram. And the nice thing about this is now you don't have to remember what the dose is for each medication, but also at the higher dose for rocuronium, the onset time is about one minute, which is exactly what succinylcholine is. The second reason I like rocuronium over succinylcholine is there have been studies in the anesthesia literature that have basically said that the safe apnea time, the time that a patient doesn't become hypoxemic, is much better with rocuronium than it is with succinylcholine. The third thing I want you to remember is that where the two medications really differ, other than one is depolarizing and one is non-depolarizing, is that the duration of action for succinylcholine is anywhere from five to 10 minutes, but for rocuronium is gonna be anywhere from 30 to 50 minutes. And so the wrong thing to do here is to rapid sequence innovation your patient, use rocuronium and not have your sedative available. You basically will have a paralyzed patient that's not sedated. So the key here is to order your sedation at the same time that you're ordering your rapid sequence innovation meds. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.